In today's video, we are talking about how much is enough? When should you stop saving? Coming up next. Hey, my name is Mel Stubbs. I'm a financial planner with Christie Capital Management. Glad you're here. If you like this information, please subscribe. So how much is enough? And when is enough enough? You know, one of the first things we do when we're talking with somebody is we put together a financial plan. We get all the inputs, like what kind of pensions and social security and the different income sources that you have. Uh, we get a list of your assets. We put everything in financial planning software. And then we also go over what type of lifestyle are you wanting? How much are you wanting to spend? Do you have you know, college and weddings and second homes? And what are all your goals? Put all of that in to see, do you have enough? And one great thing about a financial plan is it can have all the numbers and all the math and the details in there, but it also sums it up with a picture. So let's look at this picture as an example of what a financial plan can look like. You see here at age 60, they've got around $500,000, but living all the way to age 100, it shows they're dying with about $4.6 million. Now this is using a reasonable rate of return. So why is the money growing so much? Well, it turns out with the income they have, whether it's pensions and social security and spouses, social security, and the lifestyle they've chosen, they're accumulating money even in retirement. Clearly this example, if somebody's dying with $4.6 million, they've had enough. Well, let's look at a different example. Here you'll see that they are starting off with a $500,000 balance. You're contributing $15,000 a year. That's getting you a $515,000 balance in year one. And then we're applying an 8% growth rate, which you see is a $41,200 growth to end the year with 556,000. So you see you're contributing 15,000, but then there is growth on your nest egg. And you see how each year we're just contributing another 15,000, but each year the growth is getting more and more. In year one, it's $41,000 of growth. In year two, it's $45,000 of growth. If you look at year 10, you still put in 15,000, but you got $97,000 of growth. So as you can see, when the nest egg gets big enough, the growth almost takes care of itself. The additional value of contributing a little bit more isn't nearly as big as just the growth each year on the nest egg. So adding more money may not be necessary. Now you do want to get your match. So if you're a federal employee, you put 5% in, TSP gives you a 5% match. If you're not a federal employee, you just want to make sure you're getting the match that you can. But if you're putting in over and above that, do you still need to do that? So how do you answer the question, how much is enough? Well, the biblical answer is the amount that you have now. Did you know that the Bible has over 2,300 verses on money? Hebrews 13.5 says, keep your life free from the love of money. Be content with what you have. When you get a financial plan done and it shows that you have enough money to meet your lifestyle and to meet all the goals that you have, what do you do then? This gives you some options. You can increase your lifestyle. You can give money to your children or grandchildren. You can give money away. You can pay down debt. There are lots of options of what you can do with this money when you realize you don't have to save it anymore. Now I've met a lot of people where we've gone over the plan and it shows that they're supposed to die in their 90s with 6 million, 7 million, sometimes $10 million. And you wanna know the response I hear more than most? That's not a goal of theirs. They don't want that much. They would rather make sure they have enough but they don't need to have that much extra. One of the great things about the financial plan is it kind of shows you what the future can be. Let's use some reasonable growth rates. Let's see what your money can grow to. If you're gonna have six, seven, eight million dollars in your 90s, wouldn't that change maybe just a little bit of how you'd live your life now? Have you reached the point where you don't need to save anymore? Do you know for sure? Do you wanna sit down and talk with somebody and go over your information and get a financial plan tailored for you so you can see the probable outcomes of what's gonna happen with the money that you have. Well, reach out to christycapital.com, call the number on your screen, and if you qualify, we would love to talk with you about your plan and help show you some of these items. There's also a lot of planning strategies that can be done to help increase what you have. 
But the big thing is, is helping you determine whether you have enough. Now we have one of these rocks. It's a squishy toy, but it's a rock. And on it, it says enough. It's important to know whether you have enough. It's also important to realize if you have more than enough, what should you do with it? If you're gonna have more than enough, when would you wanna know this? Reach out to christycapital.com, call the number on your screen. We'd love to talk to you. Until next time, my name is Mel Stubb. We have to cut into this video to do the proper disclaimers. The purpose of this video is not to give specific tax advice or investment advice. We are going over general principles and ideas that can be used and if used correctly, can save and avoid taxes. You are going to want to work with someone personally that knows your situation personally, so seek out advice from an independent financial advisor. This is for educational purposes only. 